Welcome to API Days Helsinki. And we have here uh, Kaisa Kosonen from Business Finland, for the Visit Finland side of Business Finland. And would you want to tell us what is it that you do there? Yes. Hi, everyone. Um, first of all, it's a great honor to be able to participate in this virtual seminar. And uh, I work at Visit Finland, which is a part of Business Finland. And uh, my responsibility is the digital development of the Finnish travel industry. So I'm the head of digital development there. So, whoa, the whole travel industry, that is yes. <laughs> not, uh, not, not the uh, smallest thing to do. So how would you describe the current state of digitalization in the travel industry and in Finland in particular? Yes, well, it varies a lot. We have some travel companies that are really ahead in the trade, even globally, we could say. Uh, that are like the front runners in the digitalization, but the travel industry consists of uh, very largely of uh, small and micro sized companies. So, so it varies a lot. <laughs> we have uh, plenty of uh, small and micro sized travel companies that are just thinking about <laughs> being able to sell online. And at the same time, we have the big platform economy players and uh, companies like Finnair who are really advanced in digitalization uh, even compared with the other uh, big big airlines in the industry. So basically you are a bit worried maybe about the kind of competitiveness and, and visibility of those smaller uh, players in the field where, which can be kind of one one man one woman or or one family shows basically and and uh, so you are developing some kind of a data hub I hear uh, for this need would you want to tell us what how does that solve uh, the problem yes sure absolutely I could actually also show you the prototype at the same time so so you get a better picture of what we're doing so, so the, the travel industry consists of all these uh, micro, micro and small companies very largely. And uh, when discussing with those uh, travel companies and uh, the status of the digitalization and uh, where they see the problems or the issues or the scares and so on are, they are saying that uh, it requires so much resources. And if it's just a one or two men or women show that they are running, that uh, they are struggling to be able to, for example, keep up to date content in different digital channels. Uh, there are those big global uh, platforms that if you want to be seen and booked in those global platforms, you need to have updated information and inventory there. Then you want to be shown in different marketing campaigns for example, that we at Visit Finland are running, then you want to be seen in your local visit organizations, so the local destination DMO website and in, in their different channels. And uh, they are struggling on how, how can they keep up up-to-date information in all these different places. And uh, we were thinking about like, how could we help the, those travel companies in, in this, in this uh, problem? And uh, we came up with this idea of having, having a one data hub. So basically one place where the travel companies are hosting their uh, travel product information and they can then share it across different channels from this one place. And we at Visit Finland, we can utilize the data from there. Different destinations can utilize it and also different digital channels, different, different travel tech companies and so on. But the travel companies themselves, of course, have the control of where they want to be seen and presented. So this is the prototype of the data hub that we've been working on uh, over the last maybe six, six months in total at the moment. And we are now just in the process of starting the development of the actual uh, MVP, so the version that we're going to be publishing in the autumn. But with uh, around 150 travel companies and around 20 uh, destination marketing organization representatives. We worked uh, during the winter uh, to, to make this prototype as user-friendly as possible for the travel companies and, and kind of good uh, kind of ecosystem so we can work together with the travel companies and the destinations within Finland.
So the idea for the travel companies is that they can submit and edit the product information in this one place. They can get them translated into chosen languages. Uh, they can then choose different channels, what they want to, uh, where they want to be seen. Uh, they can also enrich their own uh, digital channels with the content from this data hub. And we're working uh, in ecosystem in a way that the destination marketing people are helping the travel companies in curating the content. So often the small companies are also struggling with the, how to make the travel products look or seem best, <laughs> best possible uh, for the for the end user so, so that the customer finds the product interesting. Um, so, so the destinations can help in curation in this process. But yeah, yeah, this is basically it. And then, then we have the API, so different channels can uh, pull the wanted information and use in their digital channels. That's okay. the kind of <laughs> very short version of what we're doing. Yeah, but that that was a very kind of interesting uh, introduction to it. And now you mentioned APIs, and you of course there's data, and there's a hub, and there's APIs. So so it it smells like there could be some issues also in this. So are you kind of um, making uh, other platforms or these kind of marketplaces for travel and different channels to use your APIs, or are you uh, using their APIs? What what is the plan or is, is the plan yet ready? Yeah, so basically uh, we will collect this uh, kind of master data of the Finnish travel trade in this one place and we will uh, build an API and different channels can connect to it. But we are also looking into possibly connecting some other information in the future into this platform. So, but that's like uh, further ahead, for example, different routes like hiking routes most likely we wouldn't start collecting that because we already know that there are there are uh, data <laughs> there is that data available elsewhere so so we are also keep keeping that option open so how do you see these kind of domestic and uh, international players uh, the the providers of the data in terms of being the the travel uh, destination themselves or the channel partners so how do you see their api readiness or their data readiness mm. is this going to be easy for them uh, yeah <laughs> probably <that's laughs> hopefully, probably hopefully. No, not easy necessarily but for example many of the destinations so the different visit, visit organizations that they are updating their digital channels, they are already taking this into account when they are like uh, doing their tendering process for their new digital services, so that their development partners are then aware of, of this opportunity to utilize this data. So so step by step, different destinations will start using this one common place for the data and uh, working with us. And that's actually that's actually a very kind of good point in in uh, when we are talking about essentially a public service like mm. this. So so uh, to take that kind of tendering uh, power that you have to kind of change the industry, um, it's it's actually something that uh, specifically in Finland there there are some other. Um, kind of ecosystems looking into that. For example, I'm I'm involved in water uh, water main what is it water maintenance and water supply, and then also uh, smart traffic areas. And there are some more. And now the question we were actually discussing with with um, Professor Henrik Wolf uh, on the day one in terms of travel or traffic or like mobility as a service. Mm -hmm is the question of legislation versus kind of market mm -hmm. driving this data yeah. hub. So they, they had like, if I just briefly say that they had taken the Finnish uh, kind of legislation on requiring the APIs from all the uh, traffic operators, they had taken it one step further and kind of demanded, required that everybody needs to have this kind of, not essentially a data hub, but these kind of API what you call it pipelines uh, that are publicly owned and those connect all the data sources all the travel operators to all the the mobility as, uh, service operators and so now you're kind of doing 
something similar. You're doing this data hub, but is there a law there? Does do people need to go there, or is there a plan to have a law, or is it just you know pull model? No, there is no law, and I yeah. doubt that there would be, and we haven't even discussed that uh, aspect or, or opportunity or <laughs> whatever <Yeah. laughs> you call it. <laughs> but uh, we kind of trust because even at the moment we are collecting this information from travel companies to our different marketing campaigns to our websites and the different destinations are doing the same so we're kind of doing several times the same job over and over mm. again <laughs> so, so so it kind of makes sense uh, and the the need has come from the travel companies that they are saying mm. that we can't ca keep up with all all of this uh, updating the information so we just yeah need to <laughs> need to stop, stop doing this or to ignore some channels and from the travelers perspective it's of course it's not nice if you're trying to find some some services in finland and you end up in some channel where the information is not up to date or it's you can't trust it if, if the opening hours are nonsense or if the yeah if the product doesn't even exist really anymore so 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 it's it's basically that there's so much market uh pull already to kind of justify that this is the thing to do but how do you see uh it from kind of the the uh, supporting industries to travel so so for example all kinds of marketing uh, like travel marketing consultants or even the bigger data platform owners who are already kind of doing this uh mm. so how do you see it? can can they fit in here somehow or is this a yeah. competing uh, think, thing yeah we see it that this is kind of giving opportunities to for example different platform players and uh, different uh, different uh, travel tech companies for example mm. because this is free free data to be used for those channels uh, of course, based on the companies that they they want to want to be seen in those channels. Mm. So so uh, so we give it see it as that, that we are ho hosting the master data and giving opportunities to different players in the industry, and we are kind of the neutral player in the sense that we don't charge for the from the travel companies for updating the information. We are hosting it from our funding, and uh, then we give opportunities for different players to use it yeah and of course uh, i'm seeing that in the future possibly there will be more and more integrated in, in integrations from different uh, travel tech companies and like a translation companies for example maybe even like a marketing creators we'll see see how how many different types of uh, integrations and opportunities will arise it's interesting to see because there is kind of a win-win for all in a way because the the, the well, from the uh, travel tech uh, company's point of view or the other platform business model like uh, for example uh, there's a, a virtual travel platform <laughs> in in based in finland and for all of those i would think that this would kind of bring something more of course it's kind of just finland uh but mm -hmm. it's still the whole of finland so you don't need to mind all those smaller uh companies and their their difficulties as long as of course they those smaller companies can actually use something either a system or or a user interface that they can integrate here that's yeah. a very very interesting kind of uh, yeah future for the yeah. yeah and regarding the integrations of course we have to be really careful with the data model of like uh because there is no like a global standard for mm. travel data so what is accommodation different types of accommodations different kinds of tours and experiences so we are trying to make the data <laughs> data in the form that is most mm. commonly used or that so the different channels don't need to map it so so much when they yeah. start using it so i mean depending on on the actual technology used in the apis there's of course uh -huh. schema org which is like schema org, which is maybe mm -hmm. the closest thing uh, yeah. to kind of a publicly used exactly. data model for this this kind of data but there are there are then problems if you if you decide to do graphql or if you decide to do rest or if you do, decide to do o data i mean we, we have everything represented here in the conference and and it's <laughs> kind of like 
well, take your pick, but on the other hand, it's also mm -hmm. what the what what the other parties want to use. And yeah. that of course is is a key thing. So uh that kind of brings us to the thing uh, like discussion about the developer community or the community as a whole. So how do you see that um being supported and, and started and kind of being built? The development community. The developer community in terms of like those guys who would use your APIs for hmm. whatever yeah. purpose. So we are actually uh, thinking about uh, launching this like an innovation competition at the same time when we launch this uh, data hub in the autumn. So we will invite the developer developer uh, community in the say in the sense to utilize <laughs> this uh, this data. And uh, already in the early summer, we will start looking for different uh, potential partners. So different uh, travel companies. In this case, it will be most likely the bigger travel companies uh, and some destinations uh, who would be interested in this innovation competition uh, and think with us, like what, what are their, the challenges that they, they could use this data hub to solve for them. And then in the autumn, when we launch the data hub, we will invite the developer community yeah. to join <laughs> join the challenges and uh, innovate with us so good that that sounds like you have all planned so are you going to as a as business finland or like visit finland are you going to be the owners or the the kind of um i don't know controllers of this data hub or how how is it going to happen who's yes, going to run are, this yeah we are going to uh post it and run it and develop it, yes. But hey, um, is there anything else you would really like to tell our audience about your plans? Well, uh, I don't know exactly who will be in the audience, well, but there's, I would say... there's going to be <laughs> There's going to be several <laughs> people too, but there's going to be quite a lot of developers and business people, yeah. And, yeah. So definitely for the developers, I encourage you to follow our channels if you're interested in uh, learning more and being part of this uh, community or this uh, new, new way of working uh, in the Finnish travel industry. Um, and if you're interested in the innova innovation competition. And then again, if there are uh, channels, different digital channels or who would think that they could use the data. So then, of course, uh, I'd be very interested in, in discussing with you and uh, and uh, seeing uh, if we, we could work together and give you the opportunity to use the data. So. That is a very good message. And I'm sure that uh, you you might get some interesting connections from here. But how, how can people be in touch with you? Well, I would say probably email is, is the easiest way at the moment. Well, I already had one phone call coming at the same moment with this. So, so mobile phones, it's a bit tricky unless we have agreed <laughs> scheduled yeah. call. So like email, email Kaisa, is good. Yeah. <laughs> email at businessfinland.fi. Well, that is then settled. So if you have any business cases, any uses uh, in mind for the Finnish travel data, then do not hesitate to connect uh, to Kaisa. And I think we it's it's a wrap. I um, I think that this is very interesting. And we have here also uh, Amadeus as a global operator and, and various other kind of platform players. So let's see what comes out of all of this. Thank you, Kaisa. Uh, it was a pleasure to have this discussion with you. Thank you so much for having me on.